Hello friends, welcome back to Zeta Axis and today we are going to discuss about Deccan Plateau. The term Deccan Plateau is a loose classification generally meaning part of Peninsular Plateau south of Satpura Mountains and in between Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. The Deccan Plateau is further subdivided into smaller plateaus. The first important plateau of Deccan Plateau is Maharashtra Plateau. The Maharashtra Plateau is spread mainly across Maharashtra and covers smaller regions in neighboring states. The Maharashtra Plateau is mainly formed of flood basaltic lava rocks which erupted from reunion hotspot. These solidified lava in horizontal sheets is called Deccan Lava Traps and we have covered it in great detail in our video on Deccan Lava Traps. The Maharashtra Plateau includes some mountain ranges which are eastward extension of western Ghats. These mountains are Ajanta Mountains, Balaghat Mountains, Harish Chandra Mountains and Mahadev Mountains. The Maharashtra Plateau slopes towards east which can be seen in the flow of rivers like Godavari, Krishna and their tributaries. Since the Maharashtra Plateau is formed of basaltic lava, the rivers are not able to cause vertical erosion. Therefore, the rivers of Deccan Plateau do not carry much silt. The soil in Maharashtra Plateau is mainly black. Next section of Deccan Plateau is Karnataka Plateau. The Karnataka Plateau forms southern section of Deccan Plateau and it is mainly composed of ancient volcanic rocks, crystalline schist and granites of Pre-Cambrian era that is about 542 million to 4.6 billion years old. Rock type of Deccan Plateau changes from basaltic to granitic here. The Karnataka Plateau merges with Nilgir Hills in the south. The Karnataka Plateau can be further divided into two sections that is the Malnad or the Malinad meaning Plateau region and the second is Maidan region which means Plain region. The Malnad region covers the slopes of Western Ghats and raised uplands in the Karnataka Plateau. In some references, section of Western Ghats in Karnataka is called Malnad. The Malnad region experiences very heavy annual rainfall and it rains for almost throughout the year. The hills here are covered with evergreen forests. Shimoga is known as the gateway to the highlands of Karnataka. Mullayanagiri is the highest peak in Karnataka and other important peaks are Kudarmuk, Rudragiri, the Jog Falls on Saravati River are located in Karnataka Plateau. The Chikmangalore region of Malnad is called Land of Coffee because of large number of coffee plantations here. Kodugu district in Malnad region is called Kashmir of Karnataka due to its scenic beauty. As well as the Kodugu district is also called the land of oranges because of large volume of orange production here. Now coming to the Maidans of Karnataka Plateau. The Maidans are vast plain regions of Karnataka Plateau lying east of the Malnad region or the mountainous regions in Karnataka Plateau. The Malnads being in rain shadow region experience very less rainfall and have dry deciduous climate. The Maidan region can be further divided into Northern Maidan and Southern Maidan. The Northern Maidan covers regions of Northern Karnataka and has an elevation of around 300 to 600 meters. The Northern Maidan is mainly formed of Regur or black soil from Deccan traps. The Southern Maidan is a series of rolling granite hills found south of Tungabhadra river basin. And the Southern Maidan region mainly has red soil. The rivers flowing through the southern Maidan region includes Kaveri, Pallar and Pennar. This southern Karnataka Plateau is called Mysore Plateau. Mysore Plateau has many undulations and is bounded on the west and south by the western Ghats. The Kaveri river flows through the Mysore Plateau. The average elevation of the Mysore Plateau is 600 to 900 meters. Sandalwood, Peak, and eucalyptus plantations are done here for commercial purpose. There are large reserves of iron ore in the Baba Budan hills and the gold is also found in the Kolar gold fields. Manganese, chromium, copper and bauxite are also mined in the Mysore Plateau. Bangalore city is also located on Mysore Plateau. The next important plateau of Deccan Plateau is Telangana Plateau. The Telangana Plateau is located in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. 
geologically the plateau is chiefly composed of ancient precambrian gneiss rocks the telangana plateau is nearly eroded peneplain marked by undulations the telangana plateau is drained by godavari river in the north the krishna river divides the peneplain into two regions and the peneru river flows through the southern part of telangana plateau the plateau's forests are moist deciduous dry deciduous and tropical thorn type next important part of deccan plateau is ral sima plateau the ral sima plateau is located in the southern part of deccan plateau in the state of andhra pradesh in the ral sima region the ral sima plateau is known for its rugged terrain and rich mineral resources next important plateau is dandakaryan plateau the dandakaryan plateau includes parts of chatisgarh odisha telangana and andhra pradesh to the south of dandakaryan plateau lies eastern ghats the word dandakaryanam means forest of demon dandak or forest for punishment the plateau rises abruptly on the eastern side and gradually decreases in elevation towards the west sona beda plateau in odisha and bastar plateau in chatisgarh are part of dandakaryan plateau the dandakaryan plateau is covered with dense forest sal trees are main types of trees present here The Dandakarna Plateau is drained by Mahanadi River and Godavari River along with its tributaries. This plateau is rich in bauxite, iron ore and manganese deposits. Iron ore mines are also located in Dandakarna and they are found in Bayladilla in southern Chhattisgarh. Next important part of Deccan Plateau is Gajhat Hills. The Gajhat Hills is a mountain range formed by series of low-lying hills, plateaus, ridges and meadows that stretch over Odisha, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. Geologically the Gachat Hills is a northward prolongation of the Eastern Ghats. The Gachat Hills are bounded by Chhota Nagpur Plateau in the north, the Utkal Plains in the east, the Mahanadi Basin or the Chhattisgarh Plains in the west and the Eastern Ghats to the south. The Gachat Hills is also known as the Odisha Highlands and it runs in a northeast to southwest direction for about 382 kilometers along the Odisha coast. The range rises abruptly and steeply in the east and slopes gently to a dissected plateau in the west running from northeast in Mayurbhanj to southwest till Malkangiri. The region mainly comprises of crystalline rocks such as granite and gneiss. The Gajhat hills are rich in coal. The Thalcher coal mines are located in Gajhat hills. The important rivers that drain the Gajhat hills are the Brahmani, Mahanadi, Baitarni and Subarnaka river. The Gajhat hills are densely forested with tropical semi evergreen and tropical dry and moist deciduous forests. In the Mayurbhanj district of Odisha we have Simlipal hills and on the Simlipal hills is located Simlipal National Park. The Budabalang and Kharkai rivers flow through Simlipal National Forest. I hope you enjoyed our video on Deccan Plateau and we were able to clear all your doubts on the Deccan Plateau. If you have liked the video then do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. If you like what we are doing then you can support us using the QR code or the UPI ID shared here. Thanks for watching the video.